All right, we are on Yojo Senki. This was recommended to me by Neopolitan, who we had a great talk. Really liked talking to him. He was really interested in the hell of a boss. He recommended this to me, so thank you. Uh, the timer does say like two minutes because I started recording this and then the cricket started. And I was like, I had enough. I had enough. So I went on a murdering spree. Because uh, I thought it was just one. There was three. Yeah. I killed three crickets. It was bad. They were screaming and yelling. Anyway. <laughs> if you want to help a good cause and... Uh, uh, I would yeah. if you want to help a good cause please subscribe because all the proceeds when I monetize this channel will go to my support group uh, they would appreciate it and I would appreciate it let's get into this now so I can only find it 720p that's okay I'm pretty, pretty excited watch this I don't really like gore too much, so. in the Lord's blessings, for he will not abandon us in battle. God, give me the power to destroy the enemies of our fatherland. Show them your wrath. God, oh, this is theologist reaction. Why are you standing there gawking at my explosion spell? You should be picking off any survivors. Is that? Fatoon Commander. Is that... We are soldiers of the Empire. When the brass gives us orders, we Is do not fail them. that stalking voice actor that we just watched from Canyon Stalking? No. Second Lieutenant Tanya Degudashoff. No matter how many enemy shells or bullets cloud the air, she flies high and without fear, like a fairy of the battlefield. In this cursed world, scorched by the flames of a never-ending war, one nation stood unmatched, the Empire, whose vast military and industrial powers kept its flag flying ever victorious in battle. But no country can stay invincible forever. And, despite its incredible forces, the Fatherland has found itself surrounded by enemy armies, facing defeat. With threats on multiple fronts, the Empire's military developed Plan 315. Small troop companies fight at the nation's borders to delay invading enemies, 
while a mobile main army travels throughout, striking with the full power of the Fatherland. But how long will this work? 1924. It, are they supposed to be Germany? Is this... I mean... What's the situation on the Rhine? How long until our main forces are deployed there? They're currently held up in the north. It'll be another two weeks at least. To get them to the river, we'll have to rearrange the rail and ship schedules. That sort of planning takes Russia? time. Huh. Communism we'll have to pull country? the front lines back even Looking more. Up. That'll put the western industrial areas in danger. We don't have any other options. We weren't prepared for how strong the enemy would be. Plus, we're out of reinforcements to send. Damn it all! A major offensive against the Entente Alliance was a huge mistake from the beginning! Idiots! If we'd have kept a smaller army, we'd still have reserves left! We have only ourselves to blame. The Empire's predicament is due to our own failures. We should have convinced our superiors that the Republic would mobilize in greater numbers. Now, I'm afraid that Plan 315 is no longer viable. Our attempts to delay the enemy aren't working. Perhaps yeah, we could break our border Germany. troops into mobile defense units. Maybe, but that would be difficult it's given the state of the Rhine Germ we're Those companies are exhausted Nazis. right now, and I'm not sure how much help they would I understand. Every spare soldier has been sent to the Western Line. Some new blood I will get improve it our odds. I had to look it up. Don't if nothing else, it could buy us a little time. Huh. If you're right, it may improve our chances of victory. Excellent work. Given the circumstances, I'd hardly call this a victory. Why not? Reports from the field say we've lost over half the units we've deployed to the Rhine Theater. Did you? Our officers say the Western Line How has become know? a living hell. On the ground at two o'clock. Artillery spells. Fire! Right, okay. They're they're flying. They're flying up. Why are they floating? Wait, they That's can use right. magic. We got you. I'll see you bastards in hell! Die, you damn Republicans! The artillery! We can take that unit out! Harold, follow me! Is our main character? Is formation. our main characters here? Our orders the bad guys? The enemy advance by attacking the flank. Or are these the good guys? That's not our mission. Stand down. Get back here now. Number numero uno to war. Is this oh, gonna be on. funny? It's not that bad. Just force it down. You need your strength. Okay. I heard the two hundred and second and two hundred and third companies were completely wiped out. I volunteered to fight here on the front lines. But I thought I'd hate the Republicans more than my commanding officer. Soldiers of the 205th, your lieutenant wants to see you. What? You're sending us back home? You're getting off lightly as far as I'm concerned. You should be grateful for that. The army has no need for officer candidates who disobey orders. But we were just trying to take out a key unit. Didn't you see how many of our infantry their artillery killed? I don't have time for excuses. An army is a machine. It can't have a single cog out of line. You're dismissed. She's absolutely right. She's no, absolutely I won't right. accept this. I chose to come to the front lines to protect the fatherland. That means I have to defeat the enemy or die while trying. Uh, me too. 
I'm in agreement with Corporal Kurst. A man of the Empire is expected to be brave. I won't run home. So what the two of you are saying is that you're going to blatantly disobey your superior <laughs> officer's order <laughs> again! It! I agree to take your opinions under consideration. But make no mistake, you will face some form of punishment. Doesn't seem like a bad person yet. Seems like a good general. Well, tenant. That's what I would do. I would send them home. Corporal Serebriakov, you look concerned about something. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Schwarzkopf, um, well, I was just wondering where Corporals Korst and Harald were. That's right. You were in their class, weren't you? They're not here. As of this morning, they're stationed at the rear. The rear? Really? Yes. They're probably standing by in one of those cramped pillboxes right about now. It was Lieutenant Degurachov who recommended that the corporals be transferred out. I understand the soldiers were foolish enough to get on her bad side. Yes, sir. I figured they would be punished harshly for the way they spoke to her yesterday, but... I see. At least they've been sent to the rear, where it's safe. If you're giving up, then you don't deserve to wear that uniform. Take it off, or prove to the Empire you're not a weakling. <laughs> Fine. Then here are your orders. <laughs> Ma'am! Gather the officers. I have some unfortunate news. We've encountered another setback. The 403rd Mage Company was ambushed by two yet. squads of enemy mages who are targeting our I was told our that we're, we're not supposed to... That means our soldiers can't take flight and use artillery spells because there's no one left to spot incoming enemy fire. She's not so the enemy the sent their observer person. hunters. But oh, honestly, that's right. it's not Didn't so you bad. encounter these specialists in the north, Lieutenant Degurachov? Yes, sir. I'd hoped they were dead. We're going after our trapped observers. The mission will begin immediately. Are there any questions? We can delay the hunters, but a rescue will be difficult. Hmm. Even with your Type 95 on our side? I will fight as always, but Corporal Serebriakov cannot. <laughs> She's met her power limit, and I won't be an incompetent leader who goes on a rescue mission only to lose my own soldier. Company Commander! I can do this! No, you can't. I hereby volunteer for the rescue mission! Stop it. Stay and gather your strength. But I'm a proud soldier of the Imperial Army! And I'm certain I have what it takes to complete this mission. Corporal! More. Please, Commander! I'm okay! Let me help my countrymen! You heard her, Second Lieutenant. I understand your concern, but I won't turn down a volunteer. If those are your orders, sir, I'll do the best that I can with a worn-out soldier. <sighs> Lieutenant Degudashoff! <sighs> I won't let you down, ma'am. Corporal, do I have your complete assurance that you're ready for this? Yes! Understood. Let's not waste any time, then. <laughs> right! I'm very confused. Sega of Tanya the Evil. So our main character is bad. Command post! This is Bravo 1! We're trapped! Enemy mages are still keeping us from performing any artillery spotting! Where are the reinforcements? Oh! Command post to Bravo 1. The 205th Mage Company is currently in route. Continue to hold your position. Help will be there soon. Damn it! Don't they understand? 
dead were being slaughtered out here! Since my volume's over. I heard low. the Imperial Mages were supposed to be some of the best. Guess that was nothing but war propaganda. Truce! Find the remaining Imperial observers and destroy them! We've been trying, sir, but we can't get a visual. They're hiding Are you in sure the trenches about that? and keeping their heads out of Are you sight. Sure you've been trying? We'll just obliterate the trenches and bury those bastards alive! Sir, a wide area explosion spell will drain our magic. That weakens our defenses. So what? Maximum firepower! We've lost contact. The observers we're after aren't responding. <sighs> this is such a mess. Does that mean we should go back? We didn't make it in time, but we can still be useful. We're already within firing range. We might as well stop these hunters once and for all. But ma'am, we're a single platoon of mages. There's no way we can take on a whole company of hunters. You volunteered for this. You assured me you could fight. <laughs> Our enemy has been on an exhausting mission. They've been traveling non-stop and have no doubt used a lot of firepower to massacre our observers. There's a chance we can win. <laughs> then again, losing any of my soldiers would probably hurt my chances of being promoted. Listen up, troops. You're to rendezvous with Lieutenant Schwarzkopf and lend him your support. I'll destroy three platoons myself. You can handle whoever's still breathing when I'm done. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one who takes this seriously. You... Sure about this? Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Help me to defend the fatherland. I'm picking I up mean... a magical signature approaching at high speeds. Confirmed. I've got eyes on the target. Distance 2,000 meters. She's praying to God to, She's you know, fast. defend her country. Must have gone mad. No one else, like, let, let's be honest. Fire! Any He's not an evil. Everyone get higher now! above the ground. Attention! You are enemies trespassing on Imperial territory. An open comm channel? And what's with this voice? Is she really nothing more than a child? This sky belongs to us. Have you tarnished our skies? Why do you invade the Empire, our fatherland? Answer me while you're still able to draw breath. If you want to play, little girl, I've got plenty of lead toys for you here! It was a decoy! <sighs> so you don't feel like talking, huh? Your blonde head will be my trophy!
coordinates identified. Calculating evasion routes for all targets. Magical energy within normal parameters. Attention, allies! these faithless invaders. Give me the ability to keep protecting the great fatherland. At the end of our hard-fought battles, paradise awaits, and one day we will reach the promised land. That's a huge energy signature! of magical explosion. It's caused when magic under maximum pressure mixes with the surrounding air. Even if you dodge the center impact, you'll be killed by the oxygen deprivation and carbon monoxide poisoning that follow. We didn't need to provide any support. In this cruel world molded by war, she's the only mage you can truly count on. <coughs> I mean... Victory officially belongs to the Empire. Surrender now and we'll guarantee your rights as prisoners under the Treaty of Worms. Resist and you forfeit those worms. protections. We pulled this record from one of our soldiers computation jewel it was recovered after the battle this single young mage wiped out the entire 106th company without any help her existence was first confirmed several months ago by our own forces we know practically nothing about her background our soldiers have a nickname for her though the devil of the rhine We have successfully redeployed our central forces to the Rhine battlefront. Our defenses are fortified. Ah, so we somehow made it in time. I know this must have been awfully demanding on your men. Think nothing of it. Anything for our glorious fatherland. I must thank you somehow. Why don't I open one of my finest vintages? <laughs> I'm afraid I've given up drinking until our victory is assured. Ha! Suit yourself! Is something wrong, Lieutenant Colonel Rerugin? No, it's just... Go on, out with it. Uh, yes, sir. I was reading the field report, and it says that 2nd Lieutenant Tanya de Gurashov was sent to the Rhine defensive lines. What? Kurst and Harald are dead? A random enemy shell struck their pillbox while they were awaiting orders at the rear. It's a real shame. She knew. Poor guys. What about the platoon commander? Does she know yet? No, I don't think so. <sighs> she did it. They call this girl White Silver. She was awarded the Silver Wings Assault Badge. It's very rare that a young mage is so accomplished. Why does she have you all worked up? Because there was a time that I had the chance to see Lieutenant de Gurashaf myself. Excuse me. I'm sorry to interrupt, but there's something you need to know. What is it? Bad news. About Corporals Korst and Harald. Yes, they're dead. But... How do you know that? It was inevitable, really. A pillbox is exposed. It doesn't move. It's an ideal target for artillery forces. A perfect coffin for men to death. Me. <laughs> I know this is out of the ordinary. But if I could please offer my opinion. Lieutenant, you didn't know this was going to happen. You didn't send them there to die, right? She is a complete and utter monster in the form of a little girl. Oh, frick. I mean, let's be honest here. 
you're just being orders and you didn't get sent home when you were told to get sent home I would put them there I mean would I th hope they don't get killed yeah but this is their own fault it's not my fault it's their fault that's a too bad moment should have listened to me when you had the chance twice third time you're just a i was gonna say a bad word but i'm not you're just an idiot that's it that's the end of sentence all right let's get to the the next one here that was pretty good i'm gonna give this uh, i'm pretty excited here i hope you're enjoying this and i'll see you tomorrow for the next one